Yeah. But if he plays better, if he has a good season, because he looks fitter, if he has a good season, we may be able to, somebody will come in and pay that release clause. Because that now means that if somebody comes in and pays that, we, we are not involved anymore. It's like us when we went to other clubs. The other club comes in, pays the money, and then that's it done. Kimba, you want yeah, to speak? Yeah, oh, right, yeah I was going to say, so, yeah, it's, it's in our best interest for him to ball out. Because um, if he doesn't, we've got the same situation next season, you know, <laughs> next next summer, where, you know, we stuck with him again, he comes back again on high wages, you know, we, we had we had him, him again to our wage, our, our wage bill. And um, the only positive, if he does have a bad season, he comes back to us, is, is, that, is that he got a year less on his contract, so we can potentially, uh, you know, just, just, just release him basically, I guess, um, help his contract and get him, you know, let him go. But um, let, let's just hope for his sake. You know, I don't like the guy, but for his sake, he does well. Uh, we get a fee for him. Someone comes in for him, like you say, and then we get a fee for him, and then we can, you know, all, all go, all go separate ways. But, um, but yeah, <laughs> there's, there's a really, um, really bad side of me that I really hope she fails. But then again, for the benefit of the club, obviously we have to make sure he does well so we can get that money for him. So it's, yeah. I have mixed feelings about it. You know, I don't want him to succeed, but I do at the same time. Financially, for the club, it's better if he does. Thing is, if we don't get, if, if we have to pay his wages, that that that's like three players. Because at the moment, a hundred grand a week is like a player to us. So that that takes up three players. And if he's just sitting on the bench or even sitting in the reserves, Facts. Exactly. that's that's exactly. three players that we can't have because of this guy. Now this mistake isn't the current owner's problem. You know. It wasn't created by them anyway. They could they could solve it by playing him, but they're not going to play him because he's too much a stink face. So they're doing what they're doing. So they have to pay the consequences, which is we might lose out in the future. But a, a lot of the fans won't accept this guy on the park. But I really thought they would force him on Pochettino, but it doesn't look like that's the case. So I'm going to give the owners their flowers for pushing this guy out. What do you think, Bobby? There's no way he could be forced on anyone. He doesn't want to be here, and he's made that clear. Um, you know, if we start to force him, that means we're just going to upset the entire dressing room. You know, as I keep saying, Romelu Lukaku has shown us who he is. He's shown us everything we need to know about whether he wants to be at Chelsea, what he thinks of Chelsea. You know, there's no compromise. The issue is to find a way to get rid of him. Uh, now, that way we found in a compromise in that we have um, managed to loan him to Inter. But, you know, it wasn't our choice. We wanted to sell him, but we couldn't because he didn't want to go to the places that were available for him to go to. Yeah, uh... We've got the poster boy for Chelsea's perspective here. I usually talk positively about coach. Uh, hashtag Tappan Merchant. <laughs> Tappan Merchant. Wait, what are you saying about it today? Uh, you were on today, but I think Roger missed out. I loved, I loved when I was out for the day and I put in. We kidded on. We were talking about players. I said I was trying to sign you in the background and all that, and uh, negotiations were ongoing and things like that. You know, I loved all that banter. I love it, Bob. What do you think? It's good banter, isn't it? Bobby. Sorry, I don't know why I'm struggling at the moment with my... Um, All right. Thing. What was that? <laughs> it's great TV, isn't it? <laughs> I'm no, saying I love the banter. I was out for the day today and I was doing a couple of little uh, tweets in on, on Coach's chat on Chelsea Perspective. All right. And it was quite funny. I don't know. You never spotted it, obviously. But we were making. I was making out. I was trying to sign you and all that. And it was going to go oh, to transfer. Right. Oh, it was. Uh, it was going to go to transfer deadline and, and all that kind of stuff. Eh? <laughs> well, I, it was making out as if I was signing you and Roger and all that. You know. That was That's funny. a good one. That's a good one. What did he say? What oh, price just, tag did he, he put on he, us? He, aye, aye. He, he thinks. He thinks <laughs> I'm poaching you too, and he thinks that he, he's saying as well that like, I tie you to. <laughs> Yeah, he needs to give us a wage increase. That's what it is. Yeah, that's it. I, I said I was getting you on a free, but I was having to pay a lot for Roger, obviously. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> High wages, wow. Emergy. High wages. Uh, High wages. Uh, he's trying to poach Kuhn. He, he, he thinks, po uh, he thinks uh, 
Coomber's a starlet. He's trying to poach Coomber for me. <laughs> I'm a Cobham boy, uh, Mitchie. I'm, yeah, I'm staying yeah. with you, man. I'm staying with you, man. Uh, staying with you. you know where you're well looked after, pal. <laughs> <laughs> No, but Bobby, before we go, pal, what what would you like to say? Uh, how things is going in general, the club? I, I'm quite positive, but what are you thinking? I think we've done very well in the uh, transfer window. We really have. Um, one of, as I keep saying, saying one of the great um, outcomes, apart from all the players we've managed to get rid of, is the fact that Liverpool tried to mug us off and ended up mugging themselves off. You know, they threw big money at something and you wanted to financially outmuscle Chelsea, which is a bit weird. But, um, you know, in the end, they ended up making themselves look foolish and lost not only one target, but two. So, you know, that's a big win. The rest of it is, look, we know we're a young team. I think we have the right manager. I think we have to give it time. The unfortunate thing about being Chelsea is that time has to come with winning. And, you know, we haven't yet shown um, we're able to do that. Yeah, the Liverpool game was good and we got a draw. That was good. West Ham was a disaster. I think we kind of let ourselves down. Um, is that expected? Probably. Uh, but, um, you know, we did what we should do against... Uh, 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 what's his name? Luton. Um, but you know, bigger tests are coming, and let's hope that um, we can now start to put something together that can keep our head afloat while we develop this team. I think eventually, when the team does come together, we're going to be quite formidable. But you know, it's going to take us a while, and I don't see us really coming together till sort of November, December time. And in the meantime, we've got to start, you know, racking up results, which is going to be a big challenge for the manager. But if anyone can do it, he can. The, the, the team does need time to gel and move forward. But look at this midfield. This could be sensational, Bobby. Yeah, absolutely. But I don't just look at the three, you know. I think squad depth is very important. And within that squad depth, I will include... OK, Santos has gone on loan now, but there's Gallagher, there's Hugo Chukwu as well. Um, and of course, um, Carney, when he's fit, he tends to fall into that as well. But because he plays further up the field, um, he uh, is often not noticed as a midfielder. Yes, we have we, we've fixed our midfield in terms of personnel. Now we've got to get them playing together. Yeah. Uh, Kumba, what's your thoughts overall? Nice positive thoughts before we go, pal. Yeah, I mean, like I say, um, we 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 definitely have an ad have an identity now. We're playing a lot better um, as a team. Um, obviously, the teams are playing for the manager. Clearly, it's it's, it's, it's clear as day to see. Uh, I can see, you know, we have a a vision, um, an aim. The players that are coming through, I'm liking. Look at them. Um, I think we've got. Um, you know, made some really shrewd signings. Um, you know, players that no one's heard of before. Jackson, no one heard of him before we signed him. Um, but we've got him in, and he looks fantastic. Um, this Azzy, no one really sort of was in for him. Uh, never heard of him, but we signed him, and he, he looks he looks strong, um, stronger than probably through the Chalaber and, and and other players that, that, that are in that position. So he has to give the recruitment team their props. You know, they've, they've done well this summer, um, and we've got many of the targets that we, that was after. Um, not, not only because we spent the money, but also because we are an attractive. Every player that comes to the club, they always talk about you know the the, um, the vision and and the project and how how they're impressed with it. So obviously the owners are selling them a, a, a dream, and you know we, we we have to sort of look forward to that. And um, I am very optimistic for the future. Um, I think we've, we've got huge potential under Pochettino. We have to, like um, um, he said, um, we have to sort of win as we. Uh, you know, as as we have time, we have to still win because um, there's a lot of pressure on, on to, you know, to win things from the fans and, and the club as a whole after the success we've had over, over the past 20 years. So, um, yeah, I think it's you know, strong times ahead. There's a lot to look forward to. And, uh, yeah, I think we're for um, a really good ride, 100%. 
Uh, big up to Blue Lounge. I I'll subscribe to you, pal, and I'll tune on on deadline day because I'll be working that night. So I need something to listen to while I'm working, guys. So everybody subscribe to Blue Lounge and watch him on deadline day. He's doing a wee stream. Right, so Bobby, everything seems quite positive. We have to just take everything game by game and hopefully it works out. And I think given time, a lot of these boys are really good players. The main thing is through this transfer window is getting rid of the stink faces, getting rid of Deadwood and stuff like that. There's a few players I didn't want rid of. That That is for certain. But we've got rid of the players that we really need to get rid of. It looks like Lukaku's gone. Uh, Cho's no such a big deal, things like that. I, I think Lukaku's the last one, and then I'm quite happy. What do you think, Bobby? I'm struggling to think which players you wouldn't you wouldn't have wanted us to sell that we sold. Um, I, I like I'd like I like Mason Mount and I liked Havertz. Well, they didn't want to be with us. I know they, that, but it doesn't matter ins and outs. I'm just saying they're players that I liked at the time. But what's happened yeah. now is I understand about the way the club are going. They're only going to pay a hundred grand a week and stuff like that. So yeah. what I think, I, I've got it all sorted in my mind now, Bobby. I've, I've came full circle. Uh, I think they would get rid of Sterling if they could. And I think it, the model is 100 grand a week plus incentives. That's what I think it is. I'm, I don't know for sure, but looking by the players have offloaded. Plus, like you say, if somebody doesn't want to be there, they move you out. If you won't sign a long-term contract, they'll move you out. When you get onto your last two years, they move you out. That's what I think, Bobby, and I've kept my terms with that. Yeah, yeah, um, I, I think so. Uh, Sterling, well, yeah, I mean, he's playing to maintain his high wages, isn't he? Um, you know, if he does well, he stands a chance to stay next season or indeed be sold to someone that will be prepared to pay him what he's earning now. So he has every reason to fight. Um, you know, I, I'm not unhappy with the people they've let go of. I think it's very, very important that we um, have players that want to be with us. Um, I, I really do. Um, you know, these players that we liked and we found out that, you know, they were trying to force the club into a pay structure that um, was not beneficial to the club. You know, I'm all about Chelsea. I'm not, you know, I, I can let go of anybody, really. You know, Loftus-Cheek was a player I really, really, really liked. But when it was time for him to go, he had to go. Um, so I, I think our business has been excellent. So and, uh, if we can crap, put the icing on the cake and get rid of Cho and Malangsar, um <laughs> And uh, 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 who else is left? Hashtag Bobby out. Well, you know, if, if I wasn't loyal, I would uh, endorse that. But, you know, <laughs> these are players that are just surplus to requirement. I don't want to no, call that, them... That's, that's, uh, that's coach. Coach is saying hashtag Bobby out. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's uh, they, they are surplus to requirement. Big up, coach. And, uh, well, what can we say? What can we say? I, I think if we manage to succeed to get them out, um, it's a 10 out of 10 window. Yeah, Kumba. Yes, mate. Yeah, what, what are you thinking? Uh, to me, uh, like I said, it's all sorted out in my head now. I can see how they're going forward. And like I've said to other fans that I, I discuss about these type things, we just have to suck it up. We've got 10 years of this. Uh, this is their plan. This is how they're rolling. It's our club. So we can either walk away or we, we just support the team. But what I'm seeing on the park is I'm seeing a lot of decent play. I think we're upgrading a lot. A lot of these players are better. The only concern I've got, Coomber, is whether this team with their talent can play against a big, strong team that's full of men. You know, like say the other day we played against West Ham, they were a big strong team. Whether our team is a bit young to play against men at the height at the height of their powers, you know what I mean? What do you think, Kumba? I think the problem we've got is a lot of teams when they come up up, up against us, that you know, they're gonna sit with ten men behind the ball and just park the bus. And it's when we can get past those, you know, those those barriers at defence where we can break them down. 
like I say, we, we tried that against West Ham, didn't quite work out. Luton could only we could only score one goal past them. You know, we could only score one goal past them um, for maybe sixty five minutes, seventy minutes, because um, they were hard to break down as well. And um, you know, I, I think we are finding it tough. Uh, but eventually, obviously, Luton had to come out to try and equalise, and we got two and three goals. But if it wasn't for that first goal, as I said in the preview, um, you know. We, we 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 could have well drove that game nil nil. So it's it's just a case of trying to um, you know combat and uh, get get around those those um, those low blocks. And I don't know if we can do that. Um, but I don't know if we have the creativity to do that. Which is why, in my opinion, it's so important. We need a, a, a number ten. To Uncle would have been perfect. So like he he was that final piece of the jigsaw when we signed him. Um, so yeah, we, we definitely need to replace him one hundred percent. So yeah, that, that, that's, that's 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 my opinion on it anyway. Coach is saying, I can't, I can't wait for you to get monetized. See, I don't know what's involved with monetized. It might just bring you a different set of problems. Thing is, I've always done this as a, a hobby. I, I've never thought about it as making money and stuff. And it's like me and Coomber, we, we just enjoy doing what we're doing. We like chatting. Uh, Bobby's the same. Roger's the same. I think us fans, we just like talking about the subject matter we like analyzing all this kind of stuff and other people find it entertaining to a certain extent so it's cool it's like i watch other youtube all day so it, this is just the same sort of thing it's just that we're lucky coomber because we're getting to actually yeah. put our point of view out there whereas when you're watching other channels and things like that or you're in live chats you, you you've not got much of a voice we at least we're getting exactly. a voice coomber what do you think pal Exactly that, mate. Like you say, I love coming on the show because I feel like I've got a platform. Uh, whereas, like you say, in live chats and just talking on, on the comments, you don't really get mentioned, really, unless you donate. And I think that's one of the re one of the things that monetization does for you, mate. It's cost me a fortune, Coomba. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, and, one uh, thing is right. Uh, Johnny you know, Mineral's channel and sometimes exactly on Lucy's channel. Used, that's why I met you because I used to see you sort of, you know, sort of donate <laughs> dating all the time, but. I think one of the things about monetization, Mitchy, is not only do you get YouTube money, but you also people can donate then as well. So you get a yeah. lot of donations and stuff like that. So it's not just it's not just YouTube money. People can also donate to you if they if they want to make a comment or if they want to you know if you, uh, to support the channel, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So so yeah, that's one of the good things about. Um, is it hundred hundred uh, one K subs to be able to get monetized? Yeah, um, I, I don't know what I'm at. How many views? A certain number uh, of views as well. I'm at nine five seven, so I need forty three subscribers. I'm no, already over. I'm, well. I'm already over four thousand viewing hours. I passed that the ah, other night. Right. Sure, sure. So I've got the viewing hours. I just need subscribers. But yeah, the thing course. is, you can't take subscribers for granted. You might get one a day. You might get none a day. You might lose subscribers. Might lose them you know, right, I lost two the other day, but I gained three the same day. So I lost two and then again three. So you don't know what goes on sometimes. Could be Man United supporters, could be Liverpool supporters, you know. It might just be bar... supporters that have like subscribed just for that just for, for their game that coming up. Yeah, just so they can come the in and draw. troll. They come yeah. in and troll Kimber and then and then no, they no, no, unsubscribe. Well, so, no, it's what I mean is right. So say if, if we're playing United next week, right, they might just subscribe for that one week. And then yeah. as soon as the game's over, they might then unsubscribe to you just because the game's finished. You don't know, do you? So Yeah. Yeah, they could be a bit salty as well, but yeah, I don't... especially uh, maybe uh, Luton fans. Yeah, so. the Liverpool supporters will not be happy Liverpool with us. Fans, yeah, I mean, yeah. I will uh, tonight. I, I knew you guys were coming on, so I never asked John and and Kieran to come on, but uh, I'll have them on at some point. But it's a bit salty with them at the moment because uh, they think we're criminals. I hope you realise yeah. that. Eh? <laughs> yeah, I remember. Yeah, <laughs> I remember when John was like almost like low key. Um, sort of bitching about and insulting the club, and uh, he was attacking the club a little was, bit. Uh, and you know me, I'm, I I'm you, not you know, for like, like defending the club. You know, I yeah, respect I, that. I, I'm not up for that. I don't think Chelsea fans want to listen or see that. <laughs> yeah. I certainly wouldn't be. Constructive criticism is the right word. <laughs> don't obviously then stop sort of bitching. Aye, but the club. I'll I'll discuss it. I'll discuss it, and I'll explain what's happening. But just flinging out acquisitions and all yeah. that. And <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, no, it's, it's no good. It's no good. The thing is, see all the clubs in the world, they're all dirty. It's like, I don't know, somebody used to say to me that millionaires are all criminals because to become an, a millionaire, you have to bend a lot of rules. Or whatever. It's like Trump and people like that. They've did a lot of bad things in the past type thing. You don't get sure. to that stage without trampling over your granny type thing. Sure. So uh, it's just that, you know, every club will have like their hands dirty 